computer's 15 int it also controls the computer's operations. For these reasons, the CPU is often considered the brain of the computer. Also involved in processing are various types of memory that are located inside the system unit and used to store data and instructions while the CPU is working with them, as well as additional processors such as the graphics processing unit, GPU. The CPU, GPU, memory, and processing are discussed in detail in Chapter 2. Output devices An output device accepts processed data from the computer and presents the results to the user, most of the time on the display screen, monitor, on paper, via a printer, or through a speaker. Other common output devices include headphones and headsets, used to deliver audio output to a single user, and data projectors, used to project computer images onto a projection screen. Output devices are covered in more detail in Chapter 4. Storage devices Storage devices, such as DVD drives and flash memory card readers, are used to store data on or access data from storage media, such as DVD disks and flash memory cards. Some storage hardware, such as a hard drive or a USB flash drive, includes both a storage device and storage medium in a single piece of hardware. Storage devices are used to save data, program settings, or output for future use, they can be installed inside the computer, attached to the computer as an external device, or accessed remotely through a network or wireless connection. Storage is discussed in more detail in Chapter 3. System unit case that contains the CPU, memory, power supply, storage devices, and all other internal hardware. Hard drive located inside the system unit, stores programs and most data. Monitor lets you see your work as you go, the primary output device. Printer produces printed copies of computer output. DVD drive reads and writes CD and DVD discs. Flash memory card reader reads and writes flash memory cards. Microphone captures spoken input. Speakers produce audio output. Keyboard used to type instructions into the computer, a primary input device. USB ports connect external devices that use the USB interface. CD and DVD discs used to deliver programs and store large multimedia files. Mouse used to make on-screen selections, a primary input device. Flash memory cards used to store digital photos, music files, and other content. USB flash drive used to store documents, digital photos, music files, and other content to be moved from one PC to another. Modem connects the computer to the Internet. Router connects devices so they can share an Internet connection and data. Communications devices allow users to communicate electronically with others and to access remote information via the Internet or a home, school, or company computer network. Communications hardware includes modems, used to connect a computer to the Internet, network adapters, used to connect a computer to a computer network, and routers, used to create a small network so a variety of devices can share an Internet connection and data. A variety of modems and network adapters are available because there are different types of internet and network connections a modem used to connect to the internet via a wireless connection and that also contains a built-in wireless router is shown in figure 1 to 9. Communications hardware and computer networks are discussed in more detail in chapter 7, connecting to the internet is covered in chapter 8. Software The term software refers to the programs or instructions used to tell the computer hardware what to do. Software is traditionally purchased on a CD or DVD or is downloaded from the Internet. In either case, the software typically needs to be installed on a computer before it can be used. Software can also be run directly from the Internet, via web pages, without being installed on your computer. This is referred to as cloud software web-based software, software as a service, SOS, and cloud computing and is discussed in more detail in Chapter 6. Computers use two basic types of software, system software and application software. The differences between these types of software are discussed next. System software The programs that allow a computer to operate are collectively referred to as system software. The main system software is the operating system, 
which starts up the computer and controls its operation. Common operating system tasks include setting up new hardware, allowing users to run other software, and allowing users to manage the documents stored on their computers. Without an operating system, a computer cannot function. Common desktop operating systems designed for personal computers are Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. These and other operating systems, such as Android, iOS, and other mobile operating systems used with mobile phones and other mobile devices, are discussed in detail in Chapter 5.